Hi guys, Steph here. Look what we've got for you today. Yes. Some of you will look at it and some of you will recognise it straight away. A very sought after in some eyes or in some people's eyes their grail pen an absolutely stunning pen that don't come along very often now this one came to me for a repair and just a general sort of clean up so can you guess what it is well maybe maybe not what we have for you is an absolutely stunning wall ever sharp coronet fountain pen and as you can see this is the gold filled version now this pen is from circa around about 1936 made in the usa now i'm not a big well i don't i don't profess to know too much about these particular pens because as i say they don't come along very often all i know is that they're actually stunning pen absolutely superb and i wish it was mine but i do believe they came in sort of different variations i believe they came in a metal cap and a plastic uh, plastic barrel um, as you can see this one is gold filled and as we'll show you in a moment the sort of barrel underneath is in black i believe they brought out a what they termed as a duboni version and possibly even a green version but either way this is the gold filled wall ever sharp coronet fountain pen as we said repeating in this gold filled version and how do we know it's gold filled if we show you the bottom of the barrel there i'm hoping it's uh, the right way up i'm looking over the camera but it actually says gold filled ever sharp made in usa an absolutely stunning pen now let's take you through the pen let's show you well let's show you the clip first of all a very sort of unassuming quite a plain but a very attractive clip as you can see there if we take you up to the top of the cap you can see these sort of triangular inserts in the top of the cap there if we turn it around slowly absolutely stunning and basically if well from around 1936 it was well it's actually screaming out art deco as a de design you can see to the top there we've got this sort of squared off um jewel to the very top there but the whole pen art deco in design if we show you the end of the cap there again we'll twirl it round you can see these sort of triangular inserts we can see the black underneath if we turn it round go to the top or shall just say the end of the barrel again again we've got these triangular inserts to the end of the barrel there the lever again quite a sort of straightforward plain lever but all in all a superb and a beautiful art deco inspired fountain pen from the period the size of it from the top of the cap to the end of the barrel around about well around about 129 millimeters capped around the diameter of the barrel it's approximately 11 millimeters in diameter now as i say it came to me for a service and a repair so if i actually unscrew the cap for you let's show you the pen in numerous different angles because it's an absolutely stunning pen very sought after as i said and again in some people's eyes this is their grail pen now 
let's take you up to this section and the first thing that you'll notice straight away is this sort of ink view window here now this pen came to me as I say for repair when I received it um, I took off this section I believe it may have actually been looked at before because there's certain things on it that sort of didn't quite you know ring true if you like but uh, yeah when I came I took off the the section and this pen has what they term as a inner subsection inside the barrel and connected onto the section now when I took the section off here this is what I found as you can see the the sack just came off like that and you can see the screw on end that screws into the end of the the section there also here's a different view you can see because of the material this particular piece was made out of what they did they actually crystallized they deteriorated and they just simply just crumbled away so what i did here we go i had to make a new part and some of you will see my recent video i've got a new lathe so i made this part on my lathe and here it is connected to the section with a sack fitted and ready to go into the pen okay so that's basically what happened and as you can see there what we did we cleaned it up slightly you can see it's got a nice clear um, ink window and inside it's got a nice clear subsection as well now the section itself quite a small lovely sort of ridge towards the nib there if we take you to the nib again I'm not quite sure if this is the correct nib for this particular pen so whether it was actually changed in the past sometimes I'm not well I'm not too sure to be quite honest with you but if I hold it nice and still for you I'm hoping you might be able to read it reads ever sharp it's a number four nib it's gold seal 18 carat and then to the very bottom it has US of America okay so whether this is the original nib again I'm not 100% sure because I have actually seen them with um, another nib which actually has a, a little slider on it which allows you to adjust the nib but either way we've tried to sort of repair the pen and get the pen in working order there's a sideways view there's the feed underneath and then some of you will ask what this little metal part is here now on this particular pen they had a little sort of a gimmick which was actually a little shut off mechanism inside now again one of the reasons I think this pen has actually been looked at before is that the the shut off or this little metal piece here has a little spring inside normally in this particular case it was just simply loose um, I didn't feel any springiness so I don't think there was a spring inside but somebody had actually put a little washer inside here which allows it just to stay as you can see there it only moves slightly it allows it just to stay in one position <coughs> excuse me so I babble on so yeah it should have had well it has got actually this um, shut off mechanism but hopefully we've uh, we've repaired it to a state that it should be in working order which we'll show you in a moment so all in all gorgeous pen lovely pen to hold nice size not a small pen not oversized but very comfortable to hold pardon sorry all oh, right you want to see it writing okay so let me reach over get some ink let me reach over and get a little bit of tissue 
and let's well first of all let's fill it with ink so as you can see there the ink view is nice and clear um, this is the first time as always we're going to test the pen so let's keep our fingers crossed so I'll try and keep it I don't know if it'll work there we go I don't know if that if the nib is actually in the ink but we'll try it from there and Okay, leave it a couple of seconds. Let's give it a wipe. And let's move the ink to one side. And there you can see, inside there, you can see the subsection is black. So it's showing us that we've actually got ink in the pen. Now the nice thing about it, with it being a new subsection, it's nice and clear. In a lot of cases, this particular ink view here um, sort of ambers it darkens and in some cases it's literally black but there you go you can see it's lovely and clear so let's bring on our little pad and let's see how it writes so Wahl ever sharp and as we said this is the the coronet it's it's gold filled and we're dating it from circa 1936 writing nicely and writing as you can see with a fine line does it have any flex hmm debatable let's put a little bit of pressure on the downward stroke I would say it has a slight amount of flexibility the main thing though as you can see it's now in full working order and writing nicely um, the owner actually said that you know he's got quite a light hand so if I just I don't know if I can actually do it but there we go I don't know if you can actually see that I'm literally allowing allowing the pen to write well I'm literally sort of just balancing it on finger on my fingers so as you can see even just with the weight of the pen it's still writing so i hope that's okay for your alberto i'm sure it'll be fine but there you go there's a writing sample writing with a nice fine line a little bit of variation in the line if we put a little bit of pressure on but on the whole writing nicely with a fine line very very nice so let's pop the cap back on well before we do that let's just once again show you the ink view there you can see the inner sections black so we can see that we've got ink in the pen so screw that back on and I'm going to keep it at that so what we've got is a gorgeous wall ever sharp coronet fountain pen a beautiful art deco inspired fountain pen I wish it was mine unfortunately it's not and it has to go back to Alberto so enjoy your pen Alberto I hope you're happy with it so 
I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as much as I enjoy showing them to you people. Don't forget, leave a comment below, don't be shy. And have you subscribed? If not, why not? Subscribe now! And last but not least, down below, if you possibly can, please support my work. But for now, I'll just say bye-bye for now.